Hi, my name is Patrick Anderson. I'm a technology specialist focused on Microsoft Dynamics CRM. Today I want to talk to you about uh, Microsoft Dynamics CRM 2011 and our integration with the Microsoft Office platform. Let's get started with the demo. Here we have uh, Office and Outlook specifically, 2010. Uh, Microsoft CRM integrates with Office versions 2003, 2007, and 2010. Here you notice uh, my inbox, as well as my CRM organization, plugged right into the Outlook client here. And if I focus your attention up to the toolbar in the ribbon, you'll see the Microsoft CRM uh, tools available here for me to uh, do specific functionality right within Outlook. We also have an integrated toolbar here uh, that has uh, more functionality and also shows you that this, with this I have the ability to go offline and still access my CRM data. Look, so let's talk about uh, the day in the life here within uh, CRM and the Office experience. Here I have a new email message that just came in. And if I read this message, it looks like a potential prospect from Top Line Services here. And I want to make sure that I track this in CRM. So I just go up to the toolbar here and select a recent account, or I can search for a specific account or contact or opportunity that I'm currently working with. If one doesn't exist, I can create one right from here. But we'll just choose one here for uh, this example. And you notice now that we actually stamp this email message below and append some data to this that's CRM-related data. So it's a unique uh, identifier and some information here that stamps it in regards to this particular account. I could open that account up and uh, or that opportunity and view the related uh, CRM record and some of its pertinent information. Uh, I will see now under closed activities um, that this email is a historical record within uh, this account along with the other records there. So as soon as I tracked that in CRM against that account, it created that historical record in CRM. And so um, for all intents and purposes, I could close this email and delete it from my inbox and know that it's safe still within the CRM database and within the historical records uh, where it should reside. As I send a reply here to this customer, I just want to thank them. And maybe I'm going to attach uh, a, some CRM literature, a template or an article that I have. And we can use uh, Microsoft Word um, for uh, creating and uh, making those templates um, to add within uh, my CRM records. So, so here I have some uh, staged templates that I've made. I've, I've built them within Word and saved them in my CRM database, and now I have access to them. And uh, I just want to thank this customer, send him this template. And uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and insert that into the body of the mail message. And it gives me some baseline uh, messaging. All right, so this is a lot easier. I'm right here with an Outlook. Um, I'm going to send that back. And by the way, this is tracking emails uh, sent back and forth from now on uh, from this customer. So I no longer have to worry about mails that are sent back from Patrick here because um, they will automatically be tracked within CRM and uh, stored in the CRM database. As I'm looking at, uh, you know, current opportunities or leads, um, you know, now I'm looking at CRM-specific records and data, and you'll notice I can use those same categories and flag these items for follow-up, just like their Outlook, uh, you know, messages coming in. Makes this easy to use. So we also integrate with the calendar. You'll notice the different calendar items that I have here. Uh, some of these are CRM records, some of them uh, maybe personal or business, um, but they're easily identified with the special icon, same as my contacts here. 
they have this special two-headed avatar. And that lets me know that those are CRM records. Same with tasks. You can synchronize your contacts uh, from CRM into Outlook and vice versa. So if I have contacts with an Outlook and they actually belong to a CRM record, I could go into you know those, those CRM contacts and right-click on them here, associate them with uh, a CRM, set the parent account to a specific account, etc. Now I want to show you um, a little bit of further integration we have here. Um, besides, uh, so far we've looked at uh, you know Outlook and we've looked at Word a little bit. Um, let's talk about Excel. So I'm going to look at uh, opportunities. And here I have a list of opportunities. Um, in fact, this is a pretty important list. This is my current forecast for the month. And what I want to do is um, send this to my boss. So I'm going to go right up here and export this to Excel. And I could save this as a static worksheet or a dynamic worksheet. I could also um, make it available so that I could use this as a template for re-importing data back into the CRM system. I'm just going to save this as it is to my desktop. And let's go ahead and open that and see what that looks like. Now here's the data that it just exported. I could go up here and you notice that we integrate with the ribbon. I could refresh this data from CRM if this was a dynamic uh, worksheet. I could also save this as a pivot table so I could drag and drop um, pivots on the table here and dynamically refresh it. Um, if I would have chose this as a template for re-import, um, I could you know, change these values and, uh, and re-import the data, use it for re-import into the system. Uh, now let's uh, let's take this a step further. We also integrate with uh, SQL Server. So um, if I want to choose a list of records here, let's say, and actually run a report against that, I could run a SQL Server report against this data. And I'll just choose all applicable records there. And we actually leverage the... Um, the SQL Server reporting services um, within the cloud, within our CRM product. And uh, this allows me to you know, create these reports, drill into this data, save them, host them somewhere, um, you know, create nice reports on the fly, and you know, have this as drillable information in, in a data format that I can do a number of things with. You know, save this, share it, uh, etc. And we also have um, reports within the product that I can, where I can save those SQL reports, go and um, <clears throat> build them with a wizard, and add charts and graphs, and manipulate the data. And, and I'll show you a, a few more uh, examples of reports in just a moment. Let's talk about SharePoint, though, before I, I get too far along here. And one of the things that's, that makes uh, uh, SharePoint uh, a very nice story with CRM is that it gives us a place to store data and uh, additional documents to the CRM system. And, you know, it gives us a way to uh, uniquely specify where those documents are going to be, a way to search for them, and uh, potentially a nice way to associate them to records. So let's look at a, an account here. And you'll notice that um, we have an area um, in the toolbar called Documents. And if I highlight Documents, in this case, this is pointing to an iframe um, where I have a SharePoint library set up for this customer and some documents there. And I could go in and do all the, you know, the SharePoint type things uh, within this iframe. Um, pretty self-explanatory there. Now, this still may require a little bit of setup to set up these document libraries, uh, but that may be okay. It depends on what my needs are. 
Let's look at another example of SharePoint, though, where it's a little more automated. So now with this account, if I go to Documents, we've actually installed what we call our list component on the SharePoint server. And it allows me to actually integrate that document library within the record here. And uh, now I have, um, you know, it's not, it's no longer an iframe. It's the actual document library embedded in this form. And I could, I could work and manipulate with, you know, um, just as I can here with the SharePoint document library. I could upload multiple files and drag and drop those in, um, uh, a number of things. The thing that's really neat about this is, uh, when you turn this on, this also allows you to automatically create these document libraries on the fly. So if I went to um, a new record, for example, and I can turn this on, by the way, for accounts, leads, opportunities, contacts, number of different things. Let's go to a new account where I have no document library set up. And no longer do I have to call IT. I just notice here, OK, a document library is going to be created. OK to continue. That's provisioning and creating a document library on the fly, and there I have it. I can literally start dragging and dropping files into this record, and they will be associated with this account litware and uniquely associated with that account. So um, imagine you could do that for contracts for customers and save them under their accounts or specific uh, um records for contacts or opportunities uh, that you're working with makes a great place to send to st save and store proposals things like that so that makes for a pretty nice um, story i think with sharepoint and by the way that can be used with sharepoint on premise or in the cloud with crm online or on premise so they can go in either direction both ways same with SQL Server. So we can, we can leverage SQL Server uh, reports and the reporting services for either direction in both ways, just like that. With Exchange, I guess we should talk about that for just a moment. You know, we could use uh, on-premise Exchange or our BPOS Im implementation of Exchange. And um, not only do we just integrate uh, through Outlook here with Exchange, uh, but we, c we also have the concept of an email router. So we could set up... The CRM system itself is capable uh, and, and has the intelligence, like through workflow, um, to to route email. So you could send email uh, to an individual within CRM or have the CRM system email out uh, automated by workflow uh, based on activities or tasks that are appropriate. Um, emails and it uses the email router to do that and you just basically give it the the exchange information or your BPOS exchange information to do that on behalf of CRM. Uh, lastly I want to just touch off on you know some of the dashboards here and just show you uh, a little bit of uh, the beauty of these so um, within dashboards uh, you know I can have um, key performance indicators that, that are coming from SharePoint, from a number of different resources. Um, they could be coming from CRM and, um, you know, or tables or views. And, you know, you have access to easily modify these and customize them and add in, um, you know, iframes web resources, XML data feeds, um, live data from the CRM system or from a SQL server, a number of different things to make pretty nice heads-up dashboards for your users and management staff, etc. So this is, uh, hopefully you enjoyed this. Um, this is kind of uh, what I would say is a, you know, a better together story for our Microsoft CRM product. And um, Microsoft Office and a Microsoft platform, really. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this and found this beneficial. Uh, thanks, and have a great day.